So, in 2020, I was able to improve my art from looking like this to this within a span of one year. And I'm going to show you the simple strategy I used to achieve this. So first step in my strategy is changing your mindset. So contrary to popular belief, when it comes to art, you're not born from the womb with art skills like Leonardo da Vinci. Get that out of your mind. Don't discourage yourself with those lies. It's something that you learn. It's something that you practice and you get better at. The second thing related to mindset that I want you to think about is to give yourself a purpose or a motivation, give yourself a reason why you want to study art in the first place. You need to know this purpose, this reason that you want to get really good, really fast with your art skill, so that when it gets to those really difficult moments when it's really hard to study, you can remind yourself of the purpose behind you doing this, and that would push you to continue to do what you're doing to improve. Another thing related to mindset that I want us to be mindful of is to stop with the negative self-talk. Stop telling yourself things like, Oh my gosh, I see this artist, they're amazing. They got really good at the age of 15 and I'm 29 and I still suck at art. So it's clear enough for me, I could never be a good artist. Stop, just stop. Stop with that negative talk and start to affirm yourself with positive things. Tell yourself that you are an artist, you are a great artist, you're on the journey to getting there and it's going to take some time but you are going to get there. Please be positive to yourself. If you're able to incorporate these three mindsets going forward, I promise you it's going to make a big change. The second thing is fundamentals. Everything you have to learn has a foundation. Imagine trying to study a language without understanding the common alphabet or the grammar of the language. That totally doesn't make sense, does it? You're never going to have an understanding of them if you do not understand basic concepts in anything that you're trying to learn. And this is why understanding the fundamentals in art is also so important. Honestly, this is what sets pro artists apart from beginners because they have a deep understanding of the fundamentals to the point that it becomes part of their support conscious so they would be drawing let's say something like the head and in their brain they have an understanding of maybe the anatomy of the head the skull landmarks the protrusions in the head all these details that may be difficult for somebody who is just getting into arts to comprehend but they understand these things because they took the time to study the fundamentals so they study it and they get to a point where it's second nature we can't figure out why our work cannot look as good as the pro artist and that's just because your fundamental understanding is very weak or you have no knowledge of it at all so you cannot create work that looks as good as people like Proko or Loish or Sam Das Art it's impossible you need to understand the fundamentals first I'm going to just let you know what the fundamentals are because at this point you're probably like what exactly are the fundamentals if you are a complete beginner so i'm just going to mention them and display them on the screen over here so the basic fundamentals of art are form and structure perspective anatomy composition value and lighting and color i'm not saying this in any order whatsoever in the future i will definitely do a video on artists that I've learned very key fundamentals on and some that I'm still learning from because there's still a lot I have to learn trust me and yeah that's something I would do in the future so if you are interested in any of that please subscribe so that you would be updated when I post a video on that at this point I'm assuming that you've probably explored a few different art forms you've probably doubled a little in art so you may have a fair idea of things that maybe you'd be interested in really having a deep understanding of first 
so that brings me to my next tip which is to narrow it down maybe you've tried a few art forms and you really desire to have a good understanding in landscapes first maybe you want to learn how to draw everything but the first thing you'd really love to learn how to do first is landscape maybe you want to get into industrial arts or maybe you're interested in character design you need to know this because it would help you tailor your studying of the fundamentals to things that would be more important for that particular thing you want to do first all the fundamentals are very important but for instance maybe if you want to go into industrial arts i'll just put up a few sketches of industrial arts from other artists so that you can get an idea of what i mean if that's what you'd want to do what you want to learn first want to focus more on understanding form and structure as well as perspective very deeply because industrial arts involves a lot of that so the next tip i have is to create a good study plan obviously if you want to be good at anything you need to learn to practice efficiently and consistently with consistency in my opinion that doesn't mean you need to draw every single day I feel like you need to tailor your study sessions with art to your lifestyle. You know, some people are actually in school, some people have full-time jobs and they still want to learn art and all that. I feel like if you look at your schedule and you're able to notice that, okay, the best I can do is to give myself 20 minutes, five or four days out of the week, and I think that's how best I could be consistent didn't do that because it wouldn't really help if you decide to push yourself for three hours three hours a day and you're like, like oh my god I just want to improve quickly they said draw every single day and I want to be as good as this artist so let me follow their strategy and try to do three hours of drawing a day. You are going to burn out and when you burn out what is the point? I think it's better if you're drawing for 10 minutes four times a week for the entire year than for you to draw for three hours every day for two weeks and then burn out in one month. And then the rest of the year you're just so burnt out you're like oh, i can't do this and this discourages you even if you start with five minutes you can decide to start with just five minutes of practicing every day and build up from there when it comes to the efficiency aspects i think i'll do a more in-depth video on this in the future but a few tips that i can give with being more efficient with your practice is to focus when you are studying art or when you are practicing get rid of all distractions now this is for the people who want to improve their skills first so if you don't care that much you can play music you can scroll on social media whilst trying to study the fundamentals and do all these things at the same time but compared to somebody who would get rid of all distractions lock in focus on the course they're listening to take time to read that fundamental book or listen to that tutorial and try to practice i mean who do you think is going to get better faster that is just a really good strategy if you want to make sure you absorb and retain the information that you are studying from your art classes or art book or whatever you're studying from another thing i recommend is to take notes whilst you're studying art because some people would just watch one tutorial to understand a certain topic they watch it one day and then they move on to the next thing the next day and then they forget the next and they are just watching tutorial upon tutorial upon tutorial and nothing ever sticks because they don't take notes they don't take it seriously they're not actively memorizing anything that they are learning you also need to mentally understand things deeply because like i said in the beginning it needs to become a part of your subconscious 
eventually and how are you going to be able to get to that point if you don't even understand anything because you're just watching one tutorial and moving on to the next next tip i would give you is to make the process of learning fun it's easier to be consistent when you're actually enjoying what you're doing in the beginning yes maybe after watching a few of encouragement videos you'd be really motivated but there would be moments where it may get a bit boring especially when you're studying the fundamentals and for me one thing that i like to do is instead of just drawing with the regular graphite pencil sometimes i switch it up sometimes i use my colored pencil sometimes i use my markers i just switch up the mediums that i draw with and it makes it a bit more fun for me that's what works for me for now maybe you'd figure out something else that makes it more fun for you try to for instance apply whatever you study to your own original characters another important thing if you want to be able to improve your art quickly is to have good feedback it's an essential part of growing any skill that's why footballers i believe have coaches because they're able to look at what they're doing and give them feedback on how they could be better how they could improve if you are a self-taught artist like me this could be something that is a bit difficult because you're not in art school so you don't have any instructor that's telling you that hey you could work on this, you could work on that. So one tip I would give for self-taught artists who are trying to get good feedback is after a couple of weeks or months of you practicing a particular thing and you've seen a bit of improvement but you can still see you're lacking in something, you can attempt to DM some artists who don't have like a crazy amount of following but that are specialized in the skill that you also want to acquire you could dm them you could email them and send them your work respectfully of course because this is a favor they're doing for you and if they don't get around to reply maybe you could just try to remind i've just tried this before in the past i think for that time i was asking about color and i dm this wonderful artist on instagram and he really took the time to give me some of the tips and he recommended Marco Bucci for me to go and check out on YouTube to understand color. And I didn't even know who Marco Bucci was at that point and he is a gem. Like when I saw his videos I was like gosh I've been living under a rock because his videos are just so good and i wouldn't have known about that if not for this artist putting me onto that so that's something you shouldn't be scared of another thing i would say is don't rush have patience don't be too hard on yourself you are not going to be michelangelo in two months it doesn't work that way don't try to compare yourself to some artist that has been drawing for five ten years you are not there yet especially if you are literally just starting cut yourself some slack you are definitely going to see improvement if you compare yourself to yourself so let's say you've been drawing for three months six months if you compare your six months self to your self six months ago you definitely see a lot of progress you're not going to see any progress if you keep comparing yourself to artists that are already at the top of their game like why are you comparing yourself to them compare yourself to you and you'd always see progress and that would motivate you to keep going if you feel like a certain strategy isn't working for you you could probably just switch up you know remix it because everybody is different but this really worked for me and i just want to share it to help others to honestly if you need some motivation you could go and check out my video over here on my embarrassing and cringy sketchbook tour i show artworks from 2018 and it's really embarrassing you can see a bit of progress from my drawings then so i hope that really encourages you see you next week bye